I have an instructable for you uh, that has pictures and written directions in it. And I'll also be showing you the device itself, a uh, device for the sterilization of masks using UVC medium pressure bulbs. And you should be able to build this for less than 200 bucks, probably closer to 180 bucks. Um, we did the calculations for the cook time based on data from neutralizing human adenovirus using UVC. We have a safety factor built into the calculation uh, just to make extra sure that we're killing everything. And even on the low end of the math, this should render a six log reduction in the mask or 99.9999% reduction. As you know, with sterility assurance, the number can never be zero, but uh, this is about the closest you can get to it. Uh, so for this project, you're going to need two 13 watt, and that's really important because the math involved is based on the power of the bulb. So two 13 watt uh, UVC germicidal drivers and bulbs, uh, about half a sheet of CDX plywood, uh, felt weather seal, two hinges, a latch, um, four hooks, some mirror material that you can likely find at your local glass shop, uh, some mirror glue, and some black paint. Uh, it's really important that... Um, no light escapes from this box. Um, UVC and um, eyes don't get along very well. Uh, this is not something that you should look at. Um, think of it like a welding arc. If you're looking at it, you are causing eye damage. Uh, so we need to black out the box as best we can. Uh, it's important to know that this device is built solely to sterilize our N95s. Uh, principles behind this device um, dictate that the light has to touch all surfaces of the PPE. And since a mask is so vital in frontline PPE, and uh, because of the shortage of them, we've built this device to help lengthen their useful life. Um, we believe that we can get 10 sterilizations out of it before uh, the material itself starts to degrade um, due to the UVC itself. Here's a look at the uh, math that we used um, to determine the uh, length away from the bulbs that the masks had to be. Um, as you can see down here close to the bottom, we did build in a 20% safety factor, um, which equaled 570.8 seconds or nine and a half minutes. We also allowed for a 30 second bulb warm up time. So um, when you do all the math, um, you get a 10 minute cook time for a six log reduction or a 5.7 minute uh, cook time for a three log reduction. We went ahead and uh, just went on the safe side. Uh, 10 minutes, six log reduction, that's pretty acceptable. Okay, on the first page of the Instructables, you can see your materials list for a total of $146.50. The pieces of plywood that you'll need to cut are two pieces of eight inch by eight inch CDX, two pieces of 15 inch by eight inch, and two pieces of 15 inch by eight and seven eighths inch. Okay, on page number two, it just shows the assembly of the box itself. Uh, make sure you use wood glue and finishing nails both just to give your box a little bit more structural stability and um, install the hooks to hold the mask into the four corners about halfway in the middle of the box. Uh, so they'll be equidistant from the drivers that we're gonna put in here a little bit. Um, Drill a one and three quarter inch hole at the top left and the bottom right of the box uh, so you can stagger your drivers and your bulbs. On page three of the instructable, you can see where our chief has super glued the felt weather stripping to the face of the box. That's uh, once again important to keep that light inside the box and prevent any sort of eye damage. Um, you can see down here in the middle where he's installed the door hinges and uh, he's done that nice and tight so that the lid presses very tightly against the box, keeps all that light in. And then down there at the very bottom, um, he's just used some drops from a local uh, glass shop for the mirrors and he's cut them to size. Not really any science there, just uh, make sure you get most of the inside of that box covered with the mirror. Okay, here on the last page, you can see the completed product. Go ahead and follow the recommended cook time for a log six reduction. Uh, we really hope that this instructable helps you guys out. If you have any questions about the assembly or anything like that, feel free to get a hold of us at any time. Okay, and here's our final product. We have a driver mounted on the bottom here. On the other side, we have the driver mounted on the top. And we have a nice tight seal all the way around the box. 
open our box up and you can see how it's completely lined with mirrors so that we get that light in all little areas that we can find and our mask is hanging right there in the middle go ahead and follow your recommended cook time of about 10 minutes for the log six reduction and uh, what we're doing is down here towards the bottom of the mask we have our initials uh, so we know whose mask it is and then we just put a tally mark every time we run it through the sterilization cycle and then when we get to a maximum of 10 uh, we can check it and see how the material looks because the UVC will degrade uh, the rubber and also the fiber in the mask. Thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope that this helps you through the shortage. Obviously we don't advocate that this is something you should be doing on a regular basis. However, in the midst of this, we're forced to not really look at what something was designed to do, but we're wanting to know what it can do. So if we can utilize this device to stretch the life of our N95s, that's just one extra step of protection that we can use to avoid transmission. Um, always remember to wear your PPE appropriately, especially in today's world. Uh, take care of each other. Look out for one another. Don't take this stuff home to your family. Um, decon where it's appropriate. Take all precautions to make sure that you minimize contact of any sort. Thanks for watching this, guys. If you would like a copy of the Instructable, you can email me at captain at southforkfirerescue.com. Um, we'll send you everything we have, including the mask sheet, if you would like. Stay safe. God bless.